Hey, bitch, that bitch came to that door that with them three guys. So I wait, what is that one guy? I saw something. I, saw that one I, I, didn't even see I didn't even see nobody. I just saw him running. No, I saw him running. My head is not running. I'm just testing that baby. Like, <laughs> I done told my baby up this bit. Who is it? It's the security. Who is it? Oh, stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> To the hotel. Well, there you have it. The Children of the Corn Rolls, a movie filmed by <laughs> movie director Candy Burris from Hood Films Incorporated. No, but seriously, all jokes aside, of course, this was at least part of this was aired on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season eight. You know, this lady, Tammy McCall, and her quote unquote nephew. Even though Glenn Rice Sr., if I'm not mistaken, said on Twitter that, you know, they're not really related to that woman. But basically her quote unquote nephew, I had to put it in quotations because allegedly that's not really her nephew. But anyway, they were wilding out on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season eight. And, you know, a lot of uh, fuckery was going on and Kenya Moore was snapping at people, like literally snapping her damn fingers, which pissed him off and. She was antagonizing this man like she antagonizes people, which, damn, I hate to say it, but this is the reason why Kenya Moore is single and going to die single, because what type of man would put up with her treating them like pure shit? And you might say, well, she has her gay pet with Brandon, and he'd marry her, but you got to understand something. Kenya can only marry a gay man, because a woman like Kenya will accept a gay man or at least on the surface accept a gay man better than a straight man because the gay man is flattering her ego because a lot of gay men are just female impersonators and you don't have to dress like a woman to be a female impersonator just by taking out certain mannerisms and whatnot certain lingo that a lot of women gravitate to and doing a lot of things that women like to do a lot of women who excuse my language are bitches or spiteful which may be a better word more accurate word they tend to have a gay f friend that I call a gay pet and they're basically there to co-sign their BS and for the woman to deep down the side laugh at like laugh at like <laughs> look at this homo trying to be me and I'm not saying Brandon's trying to be a woman but he's, because he's definitely a masculine twink he's like instead of being a twinkie full of sprinkles Brandon's like a damn Twinkie full of testosterone. I mean, just go back to season six of The Real Housewives of Atlanta when Brandon jumped up in Apollo's face. That was some testosterone-filled stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. You had this bagel-complected fool and this pizza crust-complected fool having, like, light skin on light skin crime on my TV, but whatever. I mean, he did defend Kenya. He got knocked the fuck out trying to defend her. Got his ribs cracked up or whatever, allegedly, but... He did defend her. But anyway, so I'm going to read to you what Candy had to say about these videos on Instagram. On the first video, she said, quote, now for the record, that was three videos that I put together. But anyways, on the first video, she said, it was so much that happened that night in Miami. But to explain the home video, after Tammy was taken to the hospital and the cameras were all gone, the security locked all the doors of the house and told us Tammy was staying at a hotel for the night. And they were taking her her things. So a group of us were sitting downstairs in the living room talking about everything that happened. All of a sudden, Sheree was like, Tammy's at the door. And the guys were with Tammy, so we all jumped up and ran. I guess we ran because we were told that she wasn't supposed to come back that night. And not only was she back, but she was back with the guys that had just flipped on us. So we didn't know what their intentions were. We all ran to my room and called security. Security said they were going to handle it. And I told them we would wait in my room until Tammy and the guys were gone. Anyway, since there were no cameras, I pulled out my phone and we were cracking up with each other about how silly we were to run. After a while, we got a knock at my bedroom door. We opened it thinking it was security. But to our surprise, it was Tammy and one of the guys. 
How the hell they got in the house? We still don't know. The doors were supposed to be locked. Tammy was cool. She just wanted her stuff, but we didn't have it, so she left. Security was slipping that night, though. Hashtag crazy night. Hashtag real housewives of Atlanta. Hashtag long story. Hashtag video one. In the second video, she said, and I quote, So I can't post the whole video on Instagram, but it's hilarious. This is when we got a knock on my bedroom door. We thought it was security, but it was Tammy. Portia is hilarious. Hashtag this is real. Hashtag I can't make this shit up. Hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta. And finally, in the third video, she said, Tammy was looking at us like we were crazy. And we were freaking out because we thought they were coming for vengeance. But all she wanted was her stuff. Laughing my ass off. Hashtag I can't make this shit up. Hashtag this is real. Hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hashtag video three. So there you go. That's the backstory of what happened. And Candy Burris' directorial debut. And too bad <laughs> Todd Tucker, her husband, toddler, wasn't there so that he could, you know, produce the movie or whatever. At least he knows that <laughs> Candy would have paid him, unlike Phaedra, Miss Donkey Booty, stubborn mule, pay that man his money. Toddler needs a new high chair and a booster seat. I'm fucking with you. No, but seriously, all jokes aside, it's really unfortunate that security is such a piece of poop that they didn't protect them. They need the people from Love and Hip Hop. Now, those security guys are on it. I mean, if you wipe your ass, the security be like, what's that sound? And jump on top of you like a damn football team. I mean, you can't do anything on Love and Hip Hop without security just being up on you. Somebody will go and take a fork, stick it in some steak, pick that steak up, security will jump on you. You have the damn fork stuck in your throat. It'll be popping out the back of your neck, looking like hair standing up, just sticking out like a damn stegosaurus. Because security on Love and Hip Hop will at any thought of a threat. You can th It's like Minority Report. They know what you're thinking. I mean, you can even think you're going to do something to somebody. I love a hip hop. They will put a stop to that shit. See, that security doesn't play. Now, this security over here on the Real Housewives of Atlanta is way too lax. Because as soon as that dude was walking towards the women, <laughs> I love a hip hop. Nobody would have been knocked on their ass. I'll put it like that. That's all I'm saying. So they need to get in contact with Mona Scott Young. Get her hair hat wearing ass over there. And have her help them out. I'm just saying. But remember folks. This is all my silly opinion. What the hell do I know? I'm ignorant. I'm Meat Magazine. The blogger from hell. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe. To the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com Follow me on Twitter. At Meat Magazine. I just want to say this though. I know this is completely off topic here but Portia Slade in that long Rapunzel weave and that white robe anyway we all know Portia is the reason why we all watch the show because she's the bestest but anyways let me know what you think about it all below Meat Magazine on YouTube meatmagazine.blogspot.com follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine